that he would go to when he wanted to get away from everything that was going on in the world. And he had, had an old log cabin he found and he took part and put up on that property. He didn't run the road in, so it was just a path in. Um, I guess the philosophy of the book and of his living there and what he would get when he went there was what we would get by living here. So for us, we had to put a sign up that said listening point. Now, we spent, I said, about half the year up north. We have a, a place up there with 80 acres and 800 front feet of uh, Lake Shore on Lake Roosevelt, and uh, a couple, 2.2 miles of private trail, and we snowshoe up there and hiking. And that is solitude also. So that's called listening point two. <laughs> uh, when we bought our cemetery plot, we bought a headstone, and that says listening point three. So that's the story of listening point. Uh, if you haven't ever read uh, that book, um, that City Wilderness is the two. Did you read that? He's got four or five books. Yeah, yeah I think they're all worth. If you like the wilderness, they're all worth reading. Yeah. Even if you don't like the wilderness, just for the philosophy. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Right. I think there were. Can I just things. a little uh, story as long as we're talking about cigarette also? We do a lot of canoeing, we spend a lot of time in the Bobby Waters and the Brady. So we have a favorite food now and it started really getting kind of split. And so we have a handyman, carpenter, whatever, up at our cabin. Ron said, Rick, would you mend this for, for me? My favorite paddle, we bought a new one, and it's so narrow, and waves come up, it, it just isn't the same as our big white paddle. So Rick took it home to finish it, and he gave it to Ron a few weeks ago, and he took that book, listening point, and it covered the jacket, and he etched that all on the paddle. Nice. Oh, wow. And Ron said, I can't use this. I can't use this. <laughs> Listening point up there on Burnside, Carrie yeah. and Tom, their place actually is next door. They bought well, they bought property two down from him, which is I believe the second to the end of the road. And well, Jane, you may have it's on that Man Trap, or I mean, uh, um, yeah, Van Back. Yeah, Van Back Road. There on the very end. Right here, yeah. And um, then there was this little tiny cabin there. Actually, I met somebody who was. That's Betty's house. Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see mm -hmm. some of the red sumac and, and this oh, one. Oh, yeah. This is when our trees were starting to grow up and we got our driveway paved and you know, mm -hmm. changed. Yeah, we couldn't hunt mm -hmm. snakes anymore. And, but you can see that <laughs> stuff is growing up. It just grew wild. Snakes. We used to hunt right on that corner. <laughs> yeah. Little lizards. Lizards. Oh, so, you know, blue, ta and they have blue tails, and you pick them up by the tail, and they and they fall off. <laughs> I've never seen them around. Have you ever seen one around here? I mean, I've never have. And Betty, here you donated this picture of your house in the 1960s. Still, don't you think about 19? Your tree's not very tall there. No. Yeah. And then continuing on, run. Mm -hmm. but that, so that's why the land was preserved. Mm -hmm. and, and then 
what what you could get in the fifties were from the state were seedlings uh, ten dollars a thousand. So that's where all of the all of the trees that are on our property and Fred Salisbury property, all of those we got at ten dollars a thousand and put them out in little nurseries and my brother and I needed them as children. <laughs> but it, and Hillaway Park, I don't know if it was a Boy Scout project or they got the there's a senior class project or a bunch of students from Blake School. I thought it was a Blake School kids and yeah. a, maybe being one of Bean's kids was in the class. And, and here's to illustrate what you're talking about. Uh, there, uh, this is 60 or 57, and then this is in 67, showing the trees have grown up a little bit now. So this is Burns Road, and that's your uncle, is it, Gwen? Yeah. Right here. So how much did you, you said ten dollars for it? Thousand seven. Ten dollars or a thousand. You know, they came in little bundles like this, and they were wow. just little. <laughs> so now the city sells them for what? Thirty nine ninety five. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we buy. We we planted about fifteen hundred uh, red pines, and they're they're called transplants. They're about this tall. Uh -huh. The state sells them for ten cents a piece. Why? When you buy them in quantity, yeah. like hmm. five hundred at a time. Yeah. And what we just do is go through the woods and with a shovel put a shovel down and move it forward and just shove the roots down in there and then tamp down on them. We've had pretty good luck. The yeah. problem we have up there is uh, so many deer and they nibble at the leaders of the trees. So every fall we, we have to go through about 1,500 trees and then in the spring we pull that off. And now the trees are getting to be seven, eight feet tall and they're just perfect for the bucks to rub the yeah. buzz off their antlers. <laughs> so now uh, we're putting sleeves, three-foot sleeves, mm -hmm. around, you know. <laughs> so the trees are taking a good... Somebody said, what did we do since I retired? <laughs> <laughs> Say, I, I have a question for you. Here's Hillaway Forest and Hillaway here. This round looks like a, a horse riding uh, ring. Is that what it is? And here's Plymouth, and they changed the, uh, the direction of the road over here around this time in 67. But do you know who lived there? And well, that would be that. Yeah. Who lived there? Well, us. And so this is Hillaway coming up to Plymouth. Oh, um, well, that would have been on the other side. That's the way down by Plymouth. Uh, Jay and Corinne. Larson. Well, the Larson. Larson's is across from Fred's. Yeah. No, that was Larson's lived up here, yeah. uh, over here. Yeah. yeah there was but this would, let's uh, see. Larson's, this is Larson's house here. There. Oh, right here? Right there. Mm -hmm. So they eventually built a road there. Because they made it but is that a riding stable for you horse that, lovers? That house would be that one that's up there with the silver, uh, the chrome garage door. Oh, we yeah. oh, yeah. have a Mayflower Road, of course, Mayflower Road. No, no, that's, Mayflower Road's way down there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the hill away. That's 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 hill. Just on the left, you know, before you hit Plymouth. Yeah. yeah. Before they put There's a road that came in the to the right there now. But, Betty, you don't remember riding horses there? Or is that a hockey rink then, maybe? No, no, no. <laughs> I was just curious. Oh, Mayflower Road was um, Maxwell. That's what it Jack Maxwell. Here's the very end of Burns Road here, too, that house. That was one of the first houses there at the end of Burns. It must be, because it splits to Lorien and... Yeah, that's before the architect built here. Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, let's carry on. Um, next is, oh, just showing you the names of the people around there, too. But, um, oh, I need to pause. So, so here, Ron, continue on. Well, Hopkins and White Haven and White Haven, if there was a nice house, they would annex around the lot. <laughs> and that's why we have the crazy boundaries. Instead of, you know, 36 
square miles, six miles by six miles. We got the crazy boundaries for the city. Oh, yeah. Huh. And then uh, you mentioned that, that it was incorporated. Here's the uh, actual seal we have in these records, uh, 1959 of Sherwood Forest. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of interesting. And then here is you. Well, this, oh. Again, these are just, I thought, thought, interesting things that you might mm -hmm. find interesting. I mentioned that this is part of a glacial moraine. And you'd expect it to be sand and rock, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Does everyone have a well? I have a well. Yeah. We did, yeah. We, had we capped it about 10 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David, you did too, didn't you? No, I still got a well. With the but our soil is... You still, still work? Yeah. Oh, wow. Huh. I've not had it tested. I have a kid at home that I keep planning to do that, but I'm not going to... <laughs> we use ours for the sprinkler. We just use it for sprinkler. Oh, that's a good idea. And it's good? Well, I guess we have to taste really good. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Just get an extension. <laughs> so here is that, um, I was telling you, there's this future zoo, uh, sewer zone in 1964. And you can see each little black block uh, is the houses. Here's where we are right now. It wasn't built yet in 64, but Ron's was. They had your name on there in 64? <laughs> so I put those on for, of course, the... Uh, for the invite, uh, here's a better one, a close-up of it. So you can see the only homes were Ron and the Clarks. And who are these in between you? And Pickford and Bowen. Um, well, the, yeah, actually, sewer and water came in much later. And they did go away up to the top of the hill down through Sherwood Forest. And then they went the other way. And we were one of the last to get sewer and water. And they started at the top of the hill, just in from the hill away. You, you kind of come up with a little bit of a rise before you get to the right angle turn. That's where our sewer and water end. And so they come down the hill because we had to grade Sherwood Hills Road with a grade in order to get the storm water to wash. And so it, our uh, sewer flows south and the water, city water comes up from the south. It doesn't come from from the north or from the west or from the east. It, comes, it's, it goes to the south. So we were one of the last ones to get sewer and water in the city. In fact, it took a number of years of construction. And I don't know if anybody remembers how many years it was. It was quite a few years. Yeah. And so anyway. And then here's your next slide. because every year the same guy came by in his uh, Minnetonka fire department uniform with his, his little uh, round pot and uh, asking for donations and every year everybody donated but it was a real volunteer fire department for a long time. Uh, I don't know if anybody, did you ever remember seeing the guy come around? Probably your dad did. I just thought that was interesting, uh, you know, for for all you young guys and gals. Well, I was, you know, I was at the end of the lot there, I think one of those lots turned over three times before they built on it. People just bought it on speculation and they sold it. Land, that's I think where the uh, Brant, was it the Brant, Brants? What's the name? Brant, 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 Brant. I think their house was owned by three different people before they finally, Lands bought it and huh. built. So they kept, they bought it and sold it and made a profit. Well, you know who bought it at one time? Jack and John Beats. Oh, really? They were going to go. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh. <laughs> and Ridgedale, and that was quite a fight. You can see in the records here, the Sherwood Forest. Uh, so I put a couple of them in here. Um, where you can really see the petitions to stop this horrible thing called Ridgedale. Did the Daytons own this land? Well, the Daytons owned uh, the development company that oh. developed the Dales. 
Okay. And uh, they, you know, they, they were instrumental in, in, in those developments. Yeah, they used the they same engineering use firms and architects right. and everything else that they used for the department stores. So I just say I moved it to Minneapolis in 1875, and I remember I'm a kind of an amateur birder. Mm -hmm. Is that where the Y is now? Everything Beans. Oh, Beans House. Um, Beans House is where was was where the um, the extension of White Lane. So where the Y used, used to be? Go down there. Oh, was that the east, east, of, the east of the Y? Yeah, the y. yeah, the yeah, yeah. 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 not the new Y, the old Y. It was actually road. part of the YWCA. Mm -hmm. No, you first had access was the one had the tennis courts there. Yeah, they, they, they were east yeah. of the present Y. And then on the other side of that road. Yeah, they were down on the other side of the right lane, on the east side, where African Dean was. It's a beautiful place there. A nice yeah. curvy driveway down in there. Yeah. Is that it's the Y. The Y W C A. Here's Ridgedale and Huh? Yeah, we got to He's almost done. So in 71, you can see all these bike paths. Probably Tim was driving around in here where Ridgedale is now. Here's Crane Lake. And so you could see all that was there then. Oh, yeah. uh, the chimney that Ron had mentioned earlier was uh, the chimney to my fort. Oh. <laughs> and we got all the wood from uh, Ridgedale. Oh, really? And, and uh, I don't think your son was involved, but. Uh, but uh, so there were just a few homes here. You would see us in the middle of the night pumping four by eight <laughs> sheets of plywood. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there were some rocks laying beside the road. The guys used to get out there and real quiet and roll the rocks right up behind the car. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I worked with a guy. I worked with a guy. That his dad worked with my dad at down at ADM back in the 70s. And I met Nick when I was working at the recycle center here just about eight years ago. And he goes, oh, yeah, is that Sherwood Circle thing place still there? I go, yeah, why? Well, he, that was one of the things they did. My brothers and Tiz Sarner and uh, um, the Floris and all those guys, they, cars would go park, they'd roll rocks, then they'd egg the car and egg them on. And the car to the car would go in reverse and egg into the rocks. You know? so that's one of my brother's favorites. So. And they sit there and laugh at them. There it is now. So just a, I was telling you, just a quick story. So when I moved here in 75, being an outsider, two things is that I'm a birder. We used to drive to South Dakota, and they, out of the blue, well, Highway 12 was nothing. Yeah. And the edge of the world for me was uh, the Lincoln Dell. <laughs> yeah. it, I'm serious. The Lincoln Dell and the Cooper Theater, as someone That's who just right. moved to town, yeah. so it was wilderness. So if you're living wilderness. here, I think, wow, these people live nowhere. All of a sudden, this big Ridgedale sign went up, and they, was, they built the Sheraton, remember? Yeah. They built the shirt. Was it the shirt? No, the Radisson Hotel. Yeah. yeah. It was in the middle of nowhere. And I said, why did they build a hotel? It was before they built the Ridgedale. Oh, I missed that. Wasn't that right? Yeah. Kurt Carlson was yeah. thinking yeah. ahead. This hotel in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't yeah. figure it out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sure, Sherwood Forest, that 80 acres, really was in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Back after World War II. Yeah. And they wanted to preserve it. So, just real quickly, here's a couple of the. Uh, you know, you can kind of get a sense of how, how adamant they were to stop this thing. The Ridgedale petition, there's three, three pages of this. And, um, you know, facts, here's all the problems with it. And 
And then it demonstrated. They wouldn't let us demonstrate. Air pollution. Oh, were you standing at the front of the land, Gwen, with the, with the So here's all the reasons: taxes, costs, air quality, traffic loads, noise levels. What's going to happen to our neighborhood? Garbage disposal, wildlife. The night sky. One of the plans for that came right up to Hillaway Road. Wow. They had it all set up, and you know, I remember sitting over there at the city oh, council. I'm so glad and you they, was, they had something that was right on Hillaway Road. Oh. It wow. used to be an extension. Oh, wow. wow. That would have been terrible. Oh. Well, Nancy and Julie wrote to Dayton's because they used to ride their horses there. Yeah. They so would take them off. Yeah. They were so upset about that. Oh, yeah. It was a beautiful area. Oh, there were yeah. actually little ridges and dales. Oh, yes. By the way, just, just as a matter of interest, uh, related to this, uh, I think about 40% of the activity of the Minnetonka Police Department is right, you know, right there. Oh, yeah. Is it? Wow. Oh. Rob was on Plymouth Road driving out our place on Sunday afternoon. It was parked on Hillary Road, getting ready to turn on the plummet. The guy jumped in the car with him. Oh. Wanted him to drive him. Yeah, we were out of town. Rob was in high school and wanted him to drive over to a fast school to a service room the last time. And I can't remember what Rob did, but he didn't, he didn't drive him there. Huh. Well, the story ended. Everything was fine. Now, you talk about this sign here in the next slide, but uh, here's the names Moore, Bloom, ID, Vega Mass. And La Mancha uh, left us a couple years ago, La Mantilla. Yeah, there now. Yeah. Is that right, David? Yeah. And he guards and Jean. And was he William Smith? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so you had this slide here, Ron. Who built this? Who built that sign? A pundit? Right Good job, Clem. Yeah. Pretty cool. What year would that have been, roughly? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to ask you that. Yeah. Back in the days of West Town and Country, yeah. <laughs> I was quite cool. That would be around 70. That's 70, okay. Well, I just thought you might be interested in where did that come from. Yeah. You've noticed mm -hmm. it there. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful sign. Yeah. Yeah. Would you mind if somebody put white paint in there? Classic. Great. We could add apple right here. Yeah, it's <laughs> a little longer around. Uh, yeah. You know, fixing up the Sherwood Forest uh, sign down at the entryway. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah. Just to put uh, copper sulfate on the ponds to get rid of the, the green stuff. Yeah, where I was there. Appreciate the work there. There's Fred Salisbury. I had nothing to do with it. Maybe you want to add to this? Yeah, Gwen. It wasn't me. Do anything with his books. At his mailboxes, and what, what he finally did um, with the mailbox was solder a piece of iron in the, you know, the thing. So when kids hit it with a baseball bat, they got, you know, they knew. <laughs> it must have been a very startling. <laughs> Where the new big house is. Yeah. Oh, okay. They didn't like him especially because Which are the Ribnicks, right? Him. The city yeah. You know them? Yeah. The Ribnicks? Yeah. From his house, you could I grew up with Dan. Yeah. Oh, he did? So yeah. 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 Sharp, sharp to pick the deer off. He planted all the new stuff that the deer loved. It was, it was, uh, was you know, dessert every day for the deer. They must be there. And it, was, it just broke his heart. Mm. So who, there was a simple guy that lived there. Yeah. I know one of the Because he was a physician. Yeah. I knew him. Yeah. Um, he worked in Hennepin now and then. He was an optometrist? Yeah. 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 Oh, he had a couple dogs. I always yeah, yeah, dogs he, I, the only time I would talk to him was early in the John, morning. John, John, when he walked his dogs and I'd be running, yeah. we'd stop and chat for two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Fred was a bachelor and that house was a good house for a bachelor. And, and then John. What's his name? Dr. John. <laughs> Dr. John. <laughs> See, he died suddenly. And yeah, he just dropped dead. Yeah, he's really young. Here's, here's the other one on deer. This is a deer trap. Citizens, help us. We had one of those in our yard. You did, I think. It was a deer trap. There's a deer trap. There are 17 traps. There are 17 traps in Minnetonka, each baited with a handful of corn, tempting the deer to enter. This is all 70s was a big 
Well, because ten so years ago we had the, a policeman come up to our to our front door and ask me to sign a waiver, and they wanted to bait the backyard for a oh. week and then come with sharpshooters, yeah. and, mm -hmm. oh, and that really? was only ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah still a problem. They're, still, they're yeah. much better yeah. now. So we have an electric fence around the yeah. 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 Tyranny, John Tyranny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. They have eaten all all the dogwoods. <coughs> Mm -hmm. You know, the dogwoods were, it's inside of our little big fence in our country. Now the problem is turkey. Turkey is yeah. <laughs> everywhere. All you need is a black lab uh, like we have. Yeah, the other day, and I hear something on the roof. And I'm going, look at that. I look outside, and there's five turkeys hopping up there. I have a great video of we opened the door. <laughs> And you had 30 turkeys in the front of your yard. Yeah. Five or seven. <laughs> and Romeo just went chasing around and they went flying up into the trees all over. It's the greatest video. <laughs> but uh, but he gets, yeah, we don't see any deer anymore since we got a black lab. Yeah, there's a lot. Less. When we moved in, we'd see 10 of them at a time. They called it pretty good now. Found them maybe just a hundred or something. Dull shooter, yeah. nice. Here's the next one. You pull up to the highway and you look both ways at a rolling stop and just drive across. Yeah, sometimes it takes 10 minutes to take a left turn on a 73 now. Didn't there used to be a bar on the There was a bar on the corner. Yeah, And my husband just bought a home. I know, you're right, Jimmy's. Jimmy's. You know where Dick's is? Yeah. That's where our home was before we moved here. We had to move here. Oh. Well, we wanted to move here, but we, <laughs> our house got, um, well, all the houses in there got, but our house was moved from there to Lake Mulatz and then a couple of blocks. Mm -hmm. oh. Interesting. Oh, my God. That's a long drive. Yeah. I like the number of power lines here. Yeah. I always used to ride my bike to go to my kids and they were little. And I always wished I could live in here, but then I should know that we were going to have to move. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy's was really kind of a that was a rundown pub. Where was where was the cross? It was called road? Jimmy's. That was right where oh. Hopkins Crossroad. It's about right where across the street. No, oh. it's about across oh. the street from where the parking ramp is. Mm -hmm. Because oh, it was right at the corner of yeah, right. Highway 12 and Hopkins Crossroad. Huh. Yeah. And then there was Candy's little, was across the highway. There was a little uh, hardware store, but what was across the highway? There was, the yeah, store there was a hardware store, store yeah. and then Candy's the uh, grocery store. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Because it, when I started to come out this way, there was that one farmer on the front of would be the, uh, the north side of Highway. Well, in one uh, Crawford's Crossroad, he was like the last holdout to sell his property there. 
would be the northeast corner. Here's a map. What? Here's a map. Uh, this is one of those plat maps. And so here's uh, Oak Knoll, uh, I mean the north side of 12 and 73. Yeah, so you would the take a right here. Bridge they put in. This, this was 73. Or, the yeah. bridge didn't come across. It was offset. <laughs> yeah, which so, is weird. So you had to pull off of Highway 12. It's <laughs> out here. It's before it was three, I 394. Yes, yeah. Onto the service drive and drive down the service yeah, drive and drive up the service oh, drive. Up the oh, wow. So Jimmy's bar would be right around here? Wasn't it down in the south? Yeah, it'd be down south. That's oh, so oh this thing? That's private farmer right, right there. there. That's Jimmy's bar, huh? <laughs> I never knew that. And then there was a hardware store or, or grocery uh, store. Hardware right? store we're, we're right to, in the middle of that circle right? yeah. Oh, in right here. Right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that Kenny's was there. across the street. So your house was back. Mm -hmm. back morning, girl. Your house would be <laughs> over here then. <laughs> is this the church? No yeah. The church is up here more, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was closer. To that. No. And then I think the year before, this was a couple of years before that, in 67 or so. But we should get back on track here. So uh, let's see, here. Well, in fact, this was another kind of interesting political story. And so Herberg Company had their sand pit there. Hedberg, I mean to say, Hedberg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They bought that property and then they mined it. Uh, originally, the city wanted uh, Sherwood Hills Road to continue all the way down to Cedar Lake Road. And they wanted Hedberg's to do a gradual slope. Hedberg said that gravel's too valuable. We want to mine it right up. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, the city finally relented and let them do it. They did uh, not mine all the way up to the south end of Sherwood Hills Road, though. They left two lots there because they figured those lots were worth more than the sand underneath. So, and they could be served off the end of Sherwood Hills Road. Mm -hmm. So that's Reddings and Blands today. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, those are part of Cedar Pass. Mm -hmm. Considered, I think. Really? Yeah. So what told me they were considered part of Cedar Pass? Yeah, part of that. Oh, because they Chris, yeah. probably were. Chris because Smith. Cedar Pass. Trying oh. to get his dad yeah. not to give him access. I know. I know. Tried really hard, but. And your last story is uh, Russell Lund. Okay. Some of I lived there in that house. Yeah. Yeah. Between Highway 12 and 73. Oh, that's right. Between houses. Between houses. You were. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Oh, you read? That's right. Oh, and the person that bought your phone, you know, that kid, that Did I hear that story right? What? Who was living it? Oh, the basketball player. Who lived in that corner before uh, the beat? Jack. Harper. Harper. It was a tragic so house. When you lived there, how long after the murder did you wait before you moved into the house? Not long. Because Fred and Jan were ready to move in, and our house wasn't done, so we called them and came I can in. tell you this that uh, after that happened, uh, and all the publicity and the press and the TV and the newspapers that uh, there was a series of cars coming down and yeah. doing that yeah. turnaround yeah. in our driveway and driving back out. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe all the people that would come out just to... Uh, oh. and I remember stopping at Mom and Dad's and going, what's that tape back? Now guess what the week was that we bought this house in <laughs> August of 92. <laughs> There was yellow tape around the Russell Lund house. It was that well, week kind of that we bought this. Uh, into it. <laughs> yeah. It was a double murder down the street, but don't worry about it. The house is a little haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I remember coming, yeah. Well, I, just, I don't know. The open house yeah, it's very sad. But, yeah. uh, people, uh, I'm friends with uh, 
People moved in after the Lunds sold it with a hit. John and Jan me. hit. Yep. We became very close with him. Actually, I work with John now. He's, he works at Hennepin County Medical Center. He's, he's back? He's back? Yeah, he's been back for years. Oh, I didn't know he that. He's been in Colorado, now they're back. He's been back five, six years. Kidding, he's one of our medical... He, yeah, they made, they bought a house. Kids. Yeah, they have two sets of kids. Well, all his kids are friends with ours. We got to meet yeah. up with them so again. They have a property in Stillwater. But the sad oh, no. part of it, Janet had probably five kids under the age of five. She sent the twins in. She was out swimming, I think, at Lake Independence. No, Lake Lives Lake. Right, she on had a Minnetonka. sudden cardiac uh, event, and she died while she was swimming with her kids at 41 or 42. Yeah, she was a dentist. The house is a little haunted in that respect. Well, do you remember what she said to me? Glenn and I were living in there, and our kids thought we were crazy. They said, there's no way I live in that house. And so Fred came over and came in, and he said, you know, he didn't just die and lay there. He's Flopped around oh. a bit. I said, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, one, of the, you know, one of the jobs I've done, I, I work with the medical examiner's office, so I know too much. Yeah, That's right. not, it's pointing out to Ronnie where all the action is. Yeah, they don't just die. <laughs> Sorry, Ronnie. This is a paragraph about it that I got off of the web. Yeah. Yeah. No, on yeah. Halloween, so we moved in in August. It said, oh. if I see but just in my own justification, sorry, but Ronnie, to say, how do you get to my house? She gave me the cutout map of it and said, Lund's house. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we put on, because we moved in in August. We had a Halloween party, housewarming party, and on the map I put, of course, you know, he was where the murder was. So we were all going to, in our costumes, go down there and conjure up the spirits of Barb Lund. And then the next morning we read the newspaper, he put a plastic bag over his head yeah, at Fairview. And so it was all a very spooky entrance to this uh, neighborhood. <laughs> But they're doing, the kids are doing fine now. Oh, good, Just good. let you know, they're all That's doing. They were all. David. Yeah, the okay. son of the woman he married lived in the house for a while. Yeah. yeah. That was interesting. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we found lots of interesting stuff. That was. And then your very last slide, Ron. Okay. Right. That's not good. Okay. All right. Yeah, and so thank you, Ron and Marge. There's still some pictures. Uh, just, this is. Oh, you mean of the, yeah, there's still more coming. And I know what you're talking about, the ones of the. So first a couple from Betty. Here's Betty's family with the horse. So your daughter's Lisa here and. Or Chris and Lauren. <laughs> and this is Lisa in front of your house, or Lauren. So a lot of you had horses, right? The Morris, the Vegamas, the Smiths, the Ides. You all had horses. Yeah. Ride down to Minnehaha Creek, and yeah, right. We had our horses up in Vancouver, our garage. But I mean, you rode south to the creek. There were trails all through Cedar Pass. Oh, really? That would be fun. Okay. Couple on there, I think, are pretty interesting. 
Um, well, we have we have the Fourth of July pictures. That, there's about 17 of those. Now here's this little group from Tim. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad to see you. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Let's get together more, okay? Actually, at that time, it would have been Julie Albright. And I suspect. So, year is that? 60. Oh, what year is that? Sorry. Um, 65, 63. 65, yeah, that probably would have been Julie Albright. There's your house back then. House back then. Um, I'm dead, dad, and I'm eighty-five. Basically, now where the garages is, the family room, and except the two bedrooms are down the front. Oh, it came out. Yeah. And you had this one. Knock you down the pond. It was like a stage. Now here's a group shot. You recognize the children here? Oh yeah. See, I zoom in here. From left to right, Lisa Johnson, Terry Barr, uh, Lynn Clark, Kim Cox, Chris Smith, Lauren Eide, and this is on the back. Lauren Eide, huh? Oh. Lauren Eide, no, with the curly hair. Yeah, That's Chris Smith. Right there. Right there. Okay. To the right, and that's Nancy. That's Lauren Eide. Terry Ole, Andrea Ole, Chris Eide, Julie Lamantia. <laughs> you dated them all, huh? Wow. Hey, I played with them all. That's Mike trying to, trying to drop the ball. Uh, it's me. That's very good, Tim. Yeah. Dave Vegamas, Dave Barr, and Julie Clark. Wait, this is Dave Vegamas? Yeah, that's Dave Vegamas. I've never Vegemus. seen your children there. There was Dave Barr behind him and Julie Clark with the gloves. Wow. Quite a picture. I'll put these online so everybody can have a copy of this. Yeah, that was their dog. Yeah, they were 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 dog. So behind there is. Someone's going to jail over an alligator in the states. So the Clark House was over here then. The strip mall. This is that little strip mall down there. So oh, she'd go in there twice, the twice a week to buy minnows. And yeah. this, after about three months, this guy, the proprietor of the store, finally one day says, by the way, he says, where do you fish? <laughs> <laughs> she had to tell him he was putting them in the aquarium for the, for the rally alligators. <laughs> our son, David, that day were his pets, and he was a hockey player, so he used his hockey net to take them mm -hmm. off and put them in the bathtub when he had to clean off the <laughs> electric. And when the thing got about this big, uh, he out through the aquarium, so a pet shop took them off. <laughs> Here's another group shot this in 62. Is, uh, a little younger, 62. And from left to right, you got Julie Clark. And I believe the next was Maura White. She lived down um, down by Kreitzer's, just before you go down the hill, but it was that house mm -hmm. across the road from um, Jeff. Well, yeah, Shelly's house. And then Dave Eide with his hands over his eyes. <laughs> and me, and Paula Eide. And I think that is Sarah White. They were sister. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think that's Missy Bowen with the bowl in her. <laughs> Cute. So, yeah, that's getting cute. And that's in the bathroom. We still have that plaza, I just noticed. 
Yeah. 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 Following Bowling Star, walking down the canyons. Yeah. And that would have been right after the mm -hmm. summer, after you moved in, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I have to tell a story about your mother. Uh -huh. When we moved in, I the only person I knew was Marge. And Mike started playing with you. And I went over there to meet your mom. And she had this huge crop in the corner. And she was making wine. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it wine or was it, uh, what was the other thing? It was like? wine because she had, <laughs> <laughs> she had this big straw and every once in a while. I like your mom already. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Out of sumac, right. maybe. Well, she used to make some compost thing, too, that was highly alcoholic. <laughs> uh, but I can't remember what. And we'd have broom ball games every time. Oh, fun. On the time. And Mary and I would spend a couple of days trying to come up with some drink that we could serve all these people. Well, I caught the talent of those when I first moved in. I played some of your room ball games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe for a couple of years. Yeah, I remember that. We finally had to quit because everybody was drinking too much and they were getting too old. Uh oh. Not a good combination. <laughs> never, never too old. That was the back of the house. That would have been about 70s because they got the gate down there. My mom raised dogs. She had bred poodles for a while. And then switched to white meat and terriers uh, in the 70s. For sale, bad for sale. Yeah. She was a breeder and she showed. Uh, so. Wow. And this was your last shot. Too. Well, that was just, that's just a picture down the hill from yeah. our driveway. Yeah. And it's showing the difference in trees. Yeah, you know, has these are way tall. Well, a couple of cottonwoods are down. Right, but you know. Concept story. Yeah, that's a great. That's a great stretch. Yeah. Okay, now um, they're uh, on this hill here in 1972. Is this great group of pictures that Marge uh, donated to us? So I want you guys to identify these. This is the Fourth of July in '74. That's Carrie Mask. That's Carrie Mask. That's Gene Smith. And then, is that Ronnie? Yeah. Is that Ronnie? <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie is that, uh, <laughs> Do you have a strip tease or something? <laughs> so this is the corner of our house. I moved to this neighbor too late. Okay. <laughs> Arlene Johnson. <laughs> Who's this gentleman here? Oh, that's Ron. Oh, that's Ron. Who lived in this house, Karen, right? Karen, Karen, Karen Mass. Karen Dick Mass. Oh. Okay, so that's who owned the house. Up at Leeds a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, Eddie yeah. Silverman. Yeah. They were yeah, Dick Mass. Not, yeah. Not Dick oh, was building his place yeah. out in Lake Minnetonka. So, and then here's the beginning of the three legged race. And here's David Gailey's house back here. Yeah. I love it with the six foot tall pine trees, which are now 60 feet tall. Yeah, so that's one of the masks that's there. And that's there. Okay. Yeah, that's Carrie Mass. Yeah. 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 That's her and then that's what it looks like now. And then here's. Is that you, Ron, in front here? Yeah. yeah. In the blue shirt? I think so. Look at that. <laughs> so who's this? Is that? Right there? Who's he? 
there? No, no, standing. That's the Okay. All right. Good accent shot. And then it was 4th of July. And there was a little break for the last five years, so um, we started it up again. Uh, so we're continuing this great tradition of Fourth of July parade. Who is that? Essentially, there's no more kids on this. Not up here. This yeah, time down below. I know it is. Yep. Yeah. So they they go around Lakeview. Maybe they start in Lakeview Circle. Are these any of your children? Here. <laughs> Great umbrella here too. Yeah. And it isn't just red, white and blue. I mean, you know, it's great. And then you must have had a picnic down below or something. Judy. Is it? Judy and Lisa Johnson. Down on the just see your head and I think And just a couple more of these from this batch from Marge. Oh, and that'd be masked. And this one. Yeah. Okay, and then this last batch here is uh, all the parties that you guys had, which is really amazing. Look at this, 1959 through the 70s. All the places you had. We're thinking about starting those up again. It used to be $11 for a meal and music. And Ralph, this is you here? Ralph, on the, there's your name right there. In 1963 at the golf club. And there's Dayton. Also, all the presidents. Yeah, this is the prices, $20, $19. For, 